all collectively say that we hate daylight savings. I mean, I hate to start the video off with this, but daylight savings was recently and now it gets dark at like 4.30 and it's making me feel like a 90 year old woman. All of a sudden I wanna eat dinner at 4.30 cause it's like getting dark. And then I'm tired at like 5.30 and I kinda wanna go to bed by eight. All because, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of like what when putting a blanket over a bird cage does to a bird or a parakeet, right? It's like it gets dark early and all of a sudden I'm done. No more. The day is over. But the bad part about it is there's still about three more solid hours of work I need to be doing. So anyways, oh, and I'm going to sound dumb right now, but oh my God, I'm going to sound so dumb. Okay, I'm going for it. Is daylight savings, I should have Googled this first. Is daylight savings only in the US? It's not ever, it's not worldwide. I, I'm almost certain it's not worldwide. This is a real moment right now. I'm gonna get so many comments, uh, whatever. My mom would call that a Lindsayism. She said it forever. I used to think Alaska was next to Hawaii because on the map, you know, it has that little box, okay. It's what I do sometimes. Hey, I actually want to know if some of you guys out there like daylight savings because you're crazy. <laughs> Today I am giving you guys a life update and I'm also sharing five things you don't know about me. Well, one of them already happened. Daylight savings, two thumbs down. But don't worry, there's going to be fashion in this video. I am going to a lunch in a few hours. Um, that Mindy Calling, you guys know the actress comedian Mindy Calling. She's hosting for DSW, and I've worked with DSW many times for videos on my channel. So I'm excited to check it out. So I'm gonna show you my outfit, and I'm gonna take you to the lunch. I don't know if I'm allowed to film there, but I'm gonna. The world is on TV now, right? Like everything is recorded. You know, be careful when you pick your nose or your butt, <laughs> or just pick it. <laughs> Someone's watching. Another thing you guys didn't know about me that is so is that today we launched a collaboration with Lack of Color, the hat brand. Top Tote is a hat clip I invented and I partnered with Lack of Color to design an exclusive style right here. You don't see it? Yeah, because I forgot it. I've known all week I'm shooting my video and I left the damn Lack of Color Top Tote in my office about 30 minutes that way. I'm so pissed. So now insert video that I shot later here. <laughs> oh, it's this cute little circle herringbone style with gold hardware. I just love it so much. It really blends in the effortlessly cool vibe of lack of color and also my invention, which <laughs> it was just such an honor, you guys. So I launched my brand in October of last year and in January they asked me to collab with them. I was like, wait, what? They're just like a huge popular brand, like huge. If you guys follow influencers, they are wearing these lack of color hats. They're literally the most popular and trending hat brand in the market right now. I would say worldwide. Yes, absolutely. And I've been wearing them for like six years. So when they asked me, I initially, you guys, I wanted to say, nope, too much. I'm overwhelmed. I'm trying to run this business. This shit is crazy. There's no way I'm collaborating with an established company and they're going to see that I'm super amateur. But I sat back and I was like, Lindsay, you can't say no. You have to start before you're ready. Start before you're ready. So I started before I was ready and we did it and it's out. So I hope you guys will check it out. I included the link in the description below. So, so proud of this collaboration. Ah! Um, why am I doing this video? Right now, more than ever, I'm feeling this transition in my life and this urge to get out of just all the fashion content. Yes. That is my background. I styled celebrities for 16 years. I have a skill set. I've styled every shape and size from biggest loser contestants down to itty bitty actresses. But I need some diversity in my life. My days are not filled with just shopping and outfits. They're not. Most of the time I'm actually in my sweats till one. Yes, because I own my own business and I work from home. Not because I'm a lazy ass. You want to know what? I'm so much more than fashion. Like so much more. I am a CEO of a company. I own a manufacturing business and I've tried to introduce more like personal or motivational videos and they tank, tank, tank. So is the world going to see this thumbnail and click on it? Mm, well, I don't want to be negative. Let's hope. 
I was going to say probably not. Let's hope the world, my audience wants to get to know me a little bit more because I have to say, I want to share more of me with you beyond my style and fashion skill set. Ah, I feel so cleansing. I am going through this shift in my life that is unlike any shift that I have ever experienced at this point in my adult life. Um, as some of you guys may know, I launched my product brand last year and it was all a dream, insert Biggie. <laughs> For those of you guys who like rap, Biggie song lyric. It's all a dream a, a, a little bit over a year ago and then we launched that dream and it worked. It's a full on business. I mean, it's not without its struggles and things going wrong constantly. But um, now I am a CEO of a product business and then I am also the CEO in the face of my personal brand, which is my YouTube videos. So it's keeping up with my videos every week, my stories, um, my content, my Instagram, my Facebook, all my personal stuff. And then, but most of my day is filled with just emails with production, quality control, orders, labeling, packaging, uh, the list literally goes on. With that being said, it's hard to keep up. I've thought, should I quit YouTube? Because, I mean, even my assistant, my husband has been like, maybe you should quit. It's like, that is, I've put so much energy and work into building my YouTube channel. And to be honest, because of my product business, my life is literally spent on the phone and in front of my computer. So YouTube is my outlet to talk with you guys, to share with you, to look at your comments, to read your comments, to connect, you know, in, in a different way. It's why I started YouTube and I didn't start blogging because I need to talk. I need to connect with people. It's really kind of to the core of, of who I am and, and what makes me happy. In order to keep YouTube, I'm scaling it down and I'm having these one-on-one -on -one conversations that I hope you guys like. So I don't know what you guys have going on in your life, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate to when everything is hitting at the same time, personal, family, work, demands, just everything is hitting you. Friends, what I do constantly is step back and think prioritize like it's the golden word it should be like your north star in business and it seems very simple and obvious but oftentimes it is these simple things that are the hardest to do you know like eat right work out more um be on time you know those seem like they're so simple and obvious but it's hard to do so anyways what is the most important thing that's what i start with not all this other fluff happening it's really hard, especially when you're a multitasker type A crazy person like me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. It's hard because when things hit you, you just want do here, do here, do here. But I have to tell you to, to manage the madness, prioritizing is key. So please think of that next time shit hits the fan or there's a lot going on. Another hard thing uh, for me in scaling back my YouTube channel is that goes against my tendency to over deliver with everything. It's uh, it's just who I am. I I over deliver, which is a great thing actually when you are an employee, um, when you're trying to achieve things in life, when you go after things. It's it's great to do more than is expected, right? It like keeps you employed. That's for damn sure. <laughs> but I've realized I I don't have enough of me to be able to oh, to highly produce all the YouTube videos constantly and then still be the CEO of this startup business that is doing great things that is really taking 80% of my time and to be honest is my ultimate goal. My goal really big picture is to create a brand that creates serviceable style products that make your life easier. That is my big goal and obviously YouTube and connecting with people as well but that's like my legacy. Truthfully you guys like I've been driving myself crazy. What do you guys want to watch? I need to go shopping. We need to do this. Like my video is doing terrible. It's like step back, practice acceptance for the situation I'm in and it's a great situation because it's my dreams and I've created it, but I have to tone it down a little bit and I can't overdo it with YouTube. If I wanna keep YouTube in my life, I have to scale it down a little bit. If you're like me and you tend to over deliver and you have a lot going on, 
really step back and focus on what your ultimate big picture goal is and put most of your efforts towards that and maybe take a little bit away, a little of the stress and the pressure off yourself to over deliver on those other things. You can still do a good job and not over deliver. I'm telling you, you can still be thorough. So I hope you guys still tune in because I really love this and I don't want to give it up. Anyways, do you over deliver? Oh, by the way, isn't this little sweatshirt so cute? I got it yesterday from Aritzia and I just pulled it out of the bag and didn't steam it. Um, I'll link it in the description below, but I just loved it. I love this like Kardashian putty. That's what I call it. You know how the Kardashians or Kim only wears like putty? Like everything's putty. The world is a pottery class. <laughs> I'm wearing a size one. Oh, and it has pockets. Perfect for Thanksgiving. I gotta get ready. I think I'm late. What time is it? 11.13. Shit. Gotta go. All right. Let's, let me show you my outfit. Oh, and you want to see some realness right now? I'll show you. Oh, look, pretty room, cute. Oh, the Monstera is so cute. Nice little nightstand. Oh, 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 we didn't see this. Oh, laundry we haven't put away. Oh, damn it. Oh, and that's not what you think it is. It's a lint roller. Oh, dirty minds. Or is that just me with a dirty mind? I don't know. Did anyone else think that? <laughs> All right, after a few try-ons, this is the look. It's like a lighter palette of fall. This is a mango blazer that I got last year, and I just got this dress from, oh, it looks like lingerie. I just got this dress from Aritzia yesterday. God, I love that store. Do you guys shop at that store? And then I got these boots from, ooh, oh, Zara last year. So I just love this. I love that it's like softer, but it's still fall appropriate because I'm fully covered up, you know, and you could even like layer under this outfit it's just basically boots, a dress, and a blazer. Simple and chic, right? Oh, I feel good. All right, let's go. Let's go to the event. I'm gonna bring you guys okay, with Okay, so it's very rare that there's an event in LA at a place I've never been at, but I've never been here. I'm in West Hollywood at the Lapeer Hotel. Let's see. You know what sometimes is funny about these events? You go in and you may know everyone and you may know nobody. You just gotta be confident with that, <laughs> that you may not know anybody. It's just like, hey. All right, we're here. I arrived. Look how gorgeous this place is. We're on the rooftop of the Kimpton Hotel and we're gonna have some lunch. I'm starved. I hope they have fries. That would be nice. I've met some of my friends sitting here, people I've worked with, and uh, beautiful West Hollywood. Oh, they're pretty. So pretty. So I have Mindy here. You guys know who she is. No introduction needed. But I was like, can I ask you a question? And then I'm like, what am I going to ask her? I feel like that I'm Mindy like Madonna. You don't need my last name. I guess there's not that many famous Mindy's. There is you. I just made <laughs> So um, I, let's think. What I'm, I just put myself on the spot. Maybe social media. Do you have a perspective yeah. on social media? Because I know everyone's kind of struggling a little bit so with I think social media gets a really bad rap and for a lot of good reasons there's a lot of like yes comparing yourselves to other people right but one thing I think is really nice about it is that it's been a way that I have met a lot of young women of color yes. and they've actually come and worked for me because they've reached out to me meeting meeting people in your community yeah. and connecting and being yeah. you're obviously open to it though totally. so yes I am open to it right. and it's like I have to weed through a lot of stuff but I've met two great young assistants who are promoted to become writers that I met through direct message on Instagram. There you go. It's not all just about hooking right. up. Right. You're using it for the social element and you're yeah. being open to it. So I think that's good too. When someone slides into your DMs and it's not like a weird, you know, weird pick or something. Yes. Like maybe you need to be open it and read it and you never know who. It totally. could be someone that could change your life. You'd be yeah. And I think it's rare. I think the percentages are, you know, you have to be really diligent and patient. But right. I think it's been working for me. I also think just like fashion has completely become more um, available to everyone. Yes. It's become so democratized because right. of social media. Right. You don't have to have a lot of money to post a look or a makeup look or to reach out to Naomi Campbell or Stella McCartney. So I think of it I think of it as a big positive because I feel like I made a lot of fashion connections through mm -hmm. social media. Yes. But there's obviously no dangers as well. Well I think that self expression is more celebrated because of social media because yes. you can have your individuality and wear what you want because the lines are blurred because there's so much accessibility to, to global fashion. You're totally right. right? That's so, really true. So that's what I love as well. All right there's my two cool. sets. Good, we really did good. it. That was good. I did it and I wasn't prepared. Thank <laughs> of you. Of course. 
that ended up being such a great event and how cool that I got to like full on interview Mindy but was not ready and I was so upset that I forgot my microphone, damn it. So the sound might have been like really shitty. So I'm sorry about that, but I hope you guys love this video. It was very random, but you know what? It was me. So leave me comments and let me know. Bye. See you next Saturday.